Hi guys, I'm Otto from Tron.com and today we're going to look at possible solutions if you don't have a good connection between your Sonfi RS100 Solar I.O. motors and your Toma switch. So let's dive in. I'm usually told by customers that an RS100 I.O. Solar is out of range of the Tahoma and solar motors transmit that signal differently than wired I.O. motors and therefore the first and most obvious solution, the range extender, is not an option. So what can be done when you have a message that your uh, motors are out of range? Well, the first option is the easiest, namely moving the Tahoma switch to a location that's more central to all the products that you want to control. This will then hopefully get all your shutters, blinds and shades within the reach of the switch. Of course, this is not always possible within the layout of your home. And if it's not, then there's option two. Option two is to add a second Tahoma, because you can add a second Tahoma in your uh, existing Tahoma app. Though that runs it through a separate installation, so you can never see your whole house at once, but you do have the option to switch in the app itself. The disadvantage, of course, is you have to buy a second Tahoma and you have to link to a different email address than you're using for your existing Tahoma account. Now, if you don't like that option, then there's a first option, and that is working on your shutter or screen. The big advantage of the RS100 solar motor over the Oximo 40 IO solar is that the antenna, which is this one, does not have to be outside of the housing. But if that limits the range too much, you will still have to make sure the antenna goes outside of the enclosure. And that's why I'm giving this as a last option when your motors are out of range, because it means drilling into the housing to create an opening for the antenna. It is some work, and of course, it doesn't look as neat as a closed box without any antenna. But technically, it's a good solution to the problem. And so that's it. There are three solutions if your Tahoma can't find your RS100 solar motor. Now, if you have any question about this or any of the solutions, or if something is unclear, do send an email to info at tom.com. For now, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.